Kenya's football scene history is so rich and looking at it today, you would not believe where we are coming from. We are coming from a place of talent to a place of zilch and laziness. On the field, it is such a disaster that you become depressed while watching our games. But we keep on keeping on. This is not the sad story of our football management. This is the story of a former Gormahia, Harambe Stars and Musingu High School Scorpions winger, Mike Otieno. An open mind, easy going, but like any of our footballers, media shy. Walk with me. Let's tell the story of Michael Tieno. Shule uh, uh, Flamingo Primary School. Na Apo Flamingo Primary School. Uh, ndio naweza sema hapo uh, ndo nilianza labda tuseme kuanza kucheza mpira. He was born in Nakuru's Bondeni maternity. His father worked for Unga Limited where he was also the team manager for Unga FC. They lived near Unga grounds where he remembers their house as the Unga FC store. Babangu alikuwa anafanya Unga feeds na babangu uh, ni mwenda zake. Uh, babangu alikuwa team man. So mipira zilikuwa zinawekwa kwetu. Na babangu alipenda mpira sana na nafikiri babangu alichangia sana uh, mimi kwenda mpira. Uh, manake akitoa mipira akipeleka kiwanjani mimi ndo nilikuwa namsaidia. So ile mtaa yangu ilikuwa mtaa hii hapa kiwanja ile hapa. Uh, Nikiweza kuna watu ambao uh, mimi mpaka leo nawaheshimu sana na mmoja wao anaitwa Isaya. Isaya Otieno alikuwa goalkeeper lakini alikuwa mkubwa wangu. Na kwa hiyo familia kina Isaya kulikuwa na Michael Bonyo. Na Michael Bonyo, Isaya Otieno wote walikuwa tulikuwa na shule moja. So Michael Bonyo ni mdogo wangu lakini ndugu yake kakake Isaya Otieno alikuwa mkubwa wetu. So hapo uh, hapo pia tulikuwa na goalkeeper alikuwa anaitwa DK Kamau. DK Kamau alikuwa goalkeeper lakini baadaye alikuja akacheza boxing. In fact ye Mungu alikuja akamsaidia akachana na mpira, akakuja akaingilia boxing, uh, akacheza mpaka na De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, apart from hao uh, kuna wengine lakini ni mwasao, ni miaka mingi sana. The diminutive budding football player learned to kick the ball at Unga grounds. He went to Flamingo Primary School before joining St Xavier's Secondary, both in Nakuru town. He speaks proudly of how he was a player and coach for St. Xavier's football team. Meanwhile, he was turning out for the youth side of the great Nyanam FC. Wajua kama hiyo wakati ilikuwa wakati wa Amjerumani alikuwa anaitwa Bernard Zigol. Na hiyo wakati kulikuwa na youth centers, kulikuwa na youth centers Mombasa ambaye Muhamederi ndiye alikuwa coach. Kulikuwa na youth center Nairobi uh, uh, kulikuwa na youth center Kakamega, Chris Makoha, Nakuru kulikuwa na Sami Nyongesa, uh, Nairobi kulikuwa na Jonathan Niva. Uh, Siaya kulikuwa na James Yang. So wakati ule kulikuwa na hizi youth centers lakini mimi sikupitia youth center. Mimi nikiwa mdogo timu yangu ilikuwa inaitwa Nyanam. Nyanam FC. Yeah. So mimi sikupata nafasi ya kuingia kwa youth center. Yeah. So nafikiri kuingia kwangu kwa Nyana FC nikiwa mdogo ilikuwa ni kwa sababu pia my first cousin alikuwa ndio captain wa ile team. Yeah. All Luo Zinakuru supported the now defunct Nyana. Nyana and the Luya backed Abengo FC rules the streets and football fields of Nakuru town. Kwa ile Mungu amekupangia mara nyingi ni hivyo tu yule mtu ananichukua ananifanya na, naenda Kakamega ni Sami Nyongesa marehemu Sami Nyongesa uh, Sami Nyongesa 
uh, alikuja kwa timu yangu wajua Sami Nyongesa alikuwa na timu yake ya youth center na mimi nilikuwa timu ya nyanyama na Chris Makoha alikuwa anataka striker na midfielder so Chris Makoha ani ani makocha wa muhimu sana Chris Makoha na Sami Nyongesa walikuwa marafiki Ah uh, Mwenyezi Mungu alaze roho zao malipema peponi. Uh, so Chris alimuuliza Sami kama anaweza mtafutia striker na midfielder. Sasa Sami kie alikuwa ana striker kama mimi. Uh, so Sami akantafuta. So Sami akamwambia team manager wangu na akambia coach wangu lakini hawakuniambia na itajika na Sami so akanyamaza so aliponyamaza uh, kwa bahati mzuri tu ile nimetoka mazoezi usiku usiku hivi nikakutana na Sami njiani tu so Sami akaniambia kesho nataka uje kwa uwanja wa, wa RVST mali tunafanya mazoezi nina jambo so ndio Sami akaniambia uh, natakana kakamega mimi na usuka marehemu wezi wa usuka the rivalry between these two prepared them for the kakamega district schools gem of a football rivalry that has never been replicated anywhere else one day nelson ogola of nyanam told him of inquiries by the great sami nyongesa of nakuru olympic youth center the two football minds met mike at the olympic center one evening around 7 pm in the early 80s the legendary physics teacher Chris Makoha and coach of Kakamega High School's Green Commandos were looking for a striker and Yongesa felt Mike fit the bill. Nimetoka. Nimetoka vile nilitoka uh, uh, Nakuru. Nikaenda trials. Shule ilikuwa ime shule zilikuwa zimefungwa. So kufika Kakamega ikawa uh, Kazini yangu alinipa sweta, half sweta na shati. Alafu nilikuwa na longi nyingine, alafu hii longi ilikuwa ifiki mpaka chini. Eh, eh, yeah. So alafu na rabas za ngoma. Kwa wakati huo ni wakati wa breakdown, so lazima ukae kama kidogo. So mimi vile nilivotoka hivyo siku huwa na bag, nilitoka hivyo hivyo tu. So kwenda Kakamega wakati huo fare ya kutoka na kuru mpaka Kakamega ilikuwa shilingi 50. Ah uh, so nikafika Kakamega mara yangu ya kwanza. So nikakaribishwa. Ah uh, nikaanza mazoezi. So uh, wajua sina bag, sijabeba uh, nguo, nguo yoyote eh, ya kuchange. Niko hivyo hivyo ina wea ni moja. Yeah. So tukaanza mazoezi. So nikapatiwa nguo za mazoezi. Mike speaks about his opportunity with nostalgia mixed with disappointment. High school football was passionate, emotional and personal to some extent, but in a positive way that club football lacks. Na nikienda shule Kakamega High School. Uh, uh, pia sikuwa na bag. Uh, nilikuwa na cotton box ya kubeba sabuni nini so hii cotton box yangu ndio ilikuwa na vitu vyangu so nikafunga na waya ya stima so nikaenda shule kakamega kwenda shule kakamega uh, wajua Mungu ni ajabu badala wanafunzi waone hii ni ndio box yako ndio box yako ya kubeba vitu vyako Mungu alifanya watu wanaona hiyo ni kama shopping the rivalry between the green commandos and the scorpions was out of this world football was a culture in the two schools and success depended on the head teacher Mimi nilipoingia nashukuru Mungu. Ah. Uh, 
alinipa hicho kipawa. So nilipoingia Kakamega around your time a striker wao wa Kakamega ambaye nilimpata alikuwa anaitwa uh, Fabian Adambita. Mchezaji mzuri. So ikabidi Fabian Adambita nilipoingia ikabidi yeye sasa ajaribu defense kule. Manake nafikiri rate ya kazi yangu na nilikuwa very strong ilikuwa very strong ilikuwa uh, nikiwa na mpira kupata wewe ilikuwa si rahisi so na pia nilikuwa nafunga mabao so so hiyo uh, tu kutoka after uh, ile nini uh, JJ Cup Nairobi siku keti bench mimi na hakuna siku niliwahi kuwa subbed siku wahi tolewa ati mtu mwingine aingie mimi nilicheza throughout Mike says the two sides feared each other more than any other team. He remembers Mike Wambani, Anthony Okumu, Arthur Odhiambo, Winslaus Ambata, and Joseph Kilangaira as some of his teammates in high school. Sisi ni Kakamega High School Green Commandos. Sisi nafikiri tulikuwa tumeshaamua hakuna team inaweza ikatufunga sisi. Manake tulikuwa na team strong, tulikuwa na Usuka, tulikuwa na Kisagi, tulikuwa na Were Julius, Etole, eh, Patrick Namai, Maremo Okongo, eh, 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 Bulinda, Silvanus, Milton Oruwe Obote, tulikuwa na Ruben Adaro, tulikuwa na team strong sana. Sasa uh, half time Chris akakuja akatuambia Gentlemen This is Masi These are boys who've been poached from Nairobi This team has Otieno This team has Watitwa This team has Ogoji Ogoji is a brother to Musa Otieno elder brother Kwa kaja alikuwa anajaribu kutueleza kuwa hii team msifikirie ni team ya ukambani. Hii team eh, ni team ya watu wa Nairobi ambao wamekuwa poached wakuja wache. Kwa hivyo hapa sasa nyinyi ongeeni amongst yourselves. Muongee alafu msikizane <laughs> mtacheza vipi? Juu mko tu one, mjue mko tu one. Na hii team haiwezi tuweka hivi he says that every time he stepped onto the pitch for the Kakamega High School, he turned into a different person. He says without elaborating that he cannot explain. Ya shule ilikuwa ya kujitolea kabisa unajua so bahati mzuri vitu zika change tukakomboa bao ile ya tu one hiyo moja ilikuwa yangu nikakomboa ya pili na nikafunga tatu unajua midfield uko na usuka hezro na usuka marehemu tulikuwa tunamuita zama yeye anakupatia mpira mahali unataka akitoa pas ni mahali unataka so uh, tukawa tumefika finali so finali ilikuwa kesho yake sasa tunacheza na msingu kitale uh, supporters wetu uh, wametoka kama jana yake kuja kitale wanafunzi zaidi ya mia sita. yani kitale town ni kakamega hai Green Commandos. That is why he doesn't enjoy watching football today. It's just not the same. After a long pause, he says secondary school football is a religion. Wajua football, Kakamega High School na msingu, ni dini, religion. Ile ile ni culture, alafsa hii ni talent. Kuna kitu nalipa kushinda mpira. Unajua, 
Wajua kama ulisomea Kakamega ama msingu lazima upende mpira tu. Hata kama uliingia hiyo shule wewe si mtu wa mpira, wewe labda ni mtu wa hoki. La, mpira utapenda tu mpira. So kuna kitu ambacho kilikuja kikafanyika na moja wetu kwa hostels za wasichana uh, tukafukuzwa Kakamega. Tukafukuzwa Kitale. Usiku wa manane saa sita. Uh, so tulipofukuzwa so wale walikuwa namba 2 ambayo ambao ni Homa Bay Homa Bay High School kwa group yetu sasa wakacheza na msingu finali so kwa bahati mbaya wakafunga msingu na Homa Bay sasa wakawa champions 1985 before switching sides, Mike scored the lone goal for Kakamega and sunk Musingu High School in the finals of the provincial championships at Mumias in 1986. So 86, sasa ndo tukapanga team. Ukiniuliza mimi, iyo ndo na wafikiri the best green commandos assembled machine, 1986. Tukakutana na tulucheza thika tukacheza na Ethereum finals tulikutana kwanza waje kuna kitu ngumu kama unakutana na team tena mnakutana nao finali so tulikutana na Ethereum game yetu ya kwanza ilienda 0-0 zero zero. tukakutana finali so tukakutana finali na Ethereum ah uh, Ethereum wako na ah sasa sasa E86 tuko na Mike Wambani Sasa sisi hakuna timu ingetu shinda. 85 Mike Wambani alikuwa msingu. 86 Mike Wambani timu itu wangu. Na iyo 85 kama kuna mtu ambaye mimi personal nilikuwa na mwagopa, alikuwa Mike Wambani. Sasa ule mimi mtu nikuwa na mwagopa yuko kwa timu yangu. So, finally, dakatano za kwanza, our goalkeeper wetu Michael Kisagi, Akaumia. First five minutes. Sasa uneza jua vile uh, tuliona ni kama hii sasa. Goalkeeper ameumia. Kisagi. Sasa yule goalkeeper alikuwa kama deputy wake. Anaitua Charles Atsole. Maremu. Alikuwa wajua kakamega hai kulikuwa na green commandos ya nyewe. Na kulikuwa na division F. So, Green Commandos ndo likuwa school team. Lakini hii Division F, eh? atu ni watu wanaji enjoy, but sasa tata hao, hapo, hapo ndo watu alikuwa kitolewa kipelekwa Green Commandos. Sasa huya tole, alikuwa mtu wa Division F. Shailewa. So, ye, yeah, akatolewa Division F, tukenda na hiyo safari. Juhule golkipa wetu ambaye tulikuwa nae, anaitua mwinao, alisha toka. So, tukabaki na kisagi. Na uyu chaza chole ya katolewa Division F akaletwa. So zile five minutes after five, game ikianza, uh, kisagi ya kiumia, tulishikuwa na butua, tulikuwa na wasuwa sasa. Lakini ya chole alipoingia, ni mungu tu. Charles ya chole, uh, kwangu mimi neza sema yende alitushindia yu geno. I remind him of a match he played for Musingo against Kakamega at Sigalagala Technical Institute, now National Polytechnic, in 1987. Tulikutana na Kakamega High School, Provincials. Yeah. Provincials, Buhungu. Ushaskia kuwanewa. Tulikuwa tushapiga. Kakamega 2-0. Kwa tushapiga Kakamega High School Buhungu. Iyo time, eh, 87, uh, Mike Wambani yuko ni opponent. Iyo 87 ambayo tulingiza mia Sugar League. Iyo iyo 87, doni kasain Gormaya. Ah, uh, 
Wajua Mumias tayari wamenipa kazi. Nimejoin Mumias. Baada ya kumaliza form 4, nimeingia nimejoin Mumias Sugar. Nimeandikwa kazi permanent. Na hiki permanent nimeandikwa nimebukiwa hoteli. Mimi niko na shika hoteli. Place moja inaitwa Lukoe. Niko na shika Lukoe kwa hoteli hapo na kula bure na lala bure. So after six months sasa ndio wakaamua hapana Mike sasa wewe wewe sasa ishi na mtu hapa. So nikapatiwa nikaanza kuishi na Stephen Atole. So haikukaa sana Gormaya wakawa na interest. Nili sign kuingia kwangu Gormaya kwa kina kwa kina Keno Yer. Baba Keno Yer alikuwa ndio chairman wa Gormaya uh, supporters club. Uh, Kakamega. So God tulikuwa tukienda Kakamega kucheza. I mean God alikuwa kija Kakamega. Sasa baba yake ndio alikuwa na arrange vile watakula na mahali watalala So baba yake na kani Amos Nandi alikuwa team manager wa Gormaya wakati huo. So, Nika sign mimi Maremo Suka na Polo Che. Sote tulikuwa mia sugar. So sote tuka sign. So tuka join Gormaya. Na unajua wakati huo Gormaya uh, 87 hiyo mwaka tuna join Gormaya tulisign Gormaya lakini hatukucheza hiyo season tulianza kucheza season ya 